Hey ho, what's up everybody? Today Apex Legends just dropped their Meet Ballistic trailer for the new legend coming in in Season 17 Arsenal. We're going to take a first look walkthrough and then we'll circle back and break everything down. Let's have a look. Before I was a legend, I had many fun jobs like secretary, masseuse, and door-to-door -door sales bot. Okay. But my favorite was being the butler for Here Mr. Sir August. He likes to be called ballistic because it makes him sound cool and classy. I like this new POI, by the way, the monument. Politely. Can't wait to see that ballistic in play. Ballistic once told me he can carry a third gun in his super secret sling. What a surprise to think gun. your enemy is out of weapons okay, so when, pow, he is not. I'll never understand why you pillock settle for two firearms when one can carry three. Think you've got Lord Ballistic Actually, Meat? Kind of you are wrong, friend. friend. He can use his Whistler to overheat enemy weapons. Bummer. <laughs> okay. You didn't think I'd let my skills atrophy, <laughs> did you? <laughs> I did not. And like for his ultimate move, my pal, who loves it when so I call him that, here. can activate Tempest, giving nearby teammates unlimited ammo and faster reloads. Charge with me, companions. Oh my gosh. Plus, That's he gonna be a big gold deal. version of his sling's weapon. How pretty. And he gets a gold version of the third. Gosh, he looks so cool and ultimate. powerful in that coat. Which he has it's told me numerous coat. times is dry cleaning only, robot. Mind the jacket, would you? Oh oh so dual wielding. That's said that earlier too. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah. So let's let's um let's have a look and break everything all all else down. I mean, there's a lot to take in here. Uh, I do like the new POIs. We'll kind of look at the new POIs. Um. But first, we'll kind of break through uh, the abilities and uh, and have a kind of a, a take on that. Like this POI is pretty dope. They did a really good job with this POI. I don't think it stops people from like hot dropping here. As a matter of fact, I do think that uh, Monument or what was Fragment is still going to be a very very hot drop. I think you're also going to have Mike like all these little POIs. Um, are just going to be individual contests, really, whereas everyone went to, like, streamer building. But, I mean, that remains to be seen. Again, I'll be interested to see what that what that is. How many people actually go to um, Lava City, to the new um, stacks, you know, where, where they put uh, five stack over by mods. Uh, but, you know, again, looking forward to seeing that. But my favorite was being the butler for Mr. Sir August. Pathfinder uh, uh, voiceover is cool hilarious in this too. I'm going to tear them apart. You get ballistic. Likely. Ballistic once told me he can carry a third gun in his super secret sling. What a surprise to think your enemy is out of weapon. So the sling, um, the passive is sling. So store a third weapon in the sling. Access via inventory uh, or character utility action. The sling we weapon cannot take attachments. So this is going to be interesting on how certain people will play this because you can certainly have it where there's a weapon that does that you can use in a bind um, that doesn't necessarily need attachment, something like a car that has or an R9 or a wingman. Even um, the irons on the wingman are kind of meh, but like something that has decent irons, a volt even as, you know, um, but has controllable recoil and whatnot uh you could kind of utilize that so you do have a third weapon or do you carry something because as we saw later on in this in this trailer with the ultimate the third weapon can be a gold weapon do you carry like a havoc that can instantly get the turbocharger or devo even so do you do something like that? So towards end game, you have something that is a completely gold weapon, uh, or do you do something like that on with a hop up that you wouldn't normally get uh, or easily find on the ground, um, or do you do something with like a digi? It will be interesting to see what the variety of of loadouts that people um, tend to choose with this. But I do think the interesting part is within that ultimate um, being able to have. 
sort of a gold weapon and what do you like what do you prioritize when it is gold um uh with that but this is going to be interesting when Tao, he is not i'll never understand why you pillock settle for two firearms kind of a badass when finisher too three. here think you've got lord ballistic so this is a good look at the tactical um so the tactical is whistler which is ultimately like a smart pistol uh shoots a projectile that heats up an enemy's gun as they shoot overheating causes damage you can hold the tactical to lock on you kind of see this here as it will wrap around um so what we've seen in other sort of leaked footage too is that when the smart pistol when you get hit with the smart pistol then you take about 20 damage and then you will take an extra 30 damage if you actually overheat the weapon or you continue to shoot the weapon so um that to me will be interesting to see is what you can control on your own damage Right. So uh, do you stop shooting to not get that 30 extra damage uh, or is it worth sort of shooting and trying to like finish off somebody uh, and then you take that extra 30 damage uh, in, in that particular sense? So, you know, that that kind of remains to be seen. I think that ability too it doesn't make this ultimately OP um, because to me, it's kind of like if you get hit with like the ash tactical um if you get hit with that initially i think you take one set of like damage but if you run over it if it's on the ground or something you run over it, you take like less damage or whatever so it's it's not really something that is y unique to him we've kind of seen that with a lot of these these newer ish legends I'm not saying that ash is newer but still wrong friend he can use his whistler to overheat enemy weapons yeah, like you can see here, it doesn't quite overheat right away. <laughs> this is like a Joker nod, which is really cool. Um, I, I I really like this. I think that it's very playful. Did you? I did not. And for his ultimate move, my pal. Yeah, so it's all here. It I... Um, so Tempest, uh, which is nearby teammates get faster reloads, faster arm armed move speed uh infinite ammo and then the sling weapon will be upgraded to gold which is what we we, we kind of talked about earlier so this is going to be interesting because i think ultimately the, it changes also the dynamic and the way you take fights as a team since everybody is ultimately boosted within sort of this vicinity of, of ballistic so it kind of begs the question, how far can you go or can he go from you in order for it to continue to be a team ability versus someone trying to um, selfishly solo through? And then, you know, how do you utilize it? But I think when you're talking about in comp and ranked and, and things like that, um, he is a he could potentially be a good play there towards end game because not only do you have that third weapon that's a gold weapon, um, you're giving also your squad um, additional speed and ammo towards end game when ammo is scarce. So that that is a huge thing to consider. Do I think he is uh, going to be OP? I don't think so. Um, I think he is going to shift the meta a little bit. I think there's going to be some some squads that will play him and, and, and can potentially play him well. Um, but, you know, that remains to be seen. I call him that can activate Tempest, giving nearby teammates unlimited ammo and yep. faster reloads. Surge with me, companions. Plus, he gets a gold version of his slings weapon. Right. So, yeah, again, so what you see here is ultimately like he's using a PK that has a digi. He looks so cool and powerful in that coat, which he is so You know, that would be huge in any game getting high hits, high damage for Dual wielding here, looking at Monument. Like, this is actually an interesting thing here that to note is he starts the ability to dual wield. would you? Uh, sort of as he's coming off that zip line, right? So that's pretty good to know. So as you're pushing, you quickly dual wield here, get that initial damage, and then sort of finish them off. August Brinkman, that's who broke you. 
Yeah, it'll be interesting to see where he is in the meta. I do think his abilities are are good. I don't think that they're broken or OP. Um, I think they can be also easily countered uh, to a certain way. Like I said, you know, if you if you get hit with his ability, it's kind of like a vantage tag, um, break the line of sight. I I also don't know if there is on um, within the smart bullet itself. Uh, if you are t if you are locked on, can you break the line of sight somehow and the bullet won't hit you? Right. So is this really something that uh, is you have to be when you're locked on, you have to stay within line of sight of the actual weapon uh, much to be like what the bat is what echo is with with vantage right you have to keep the the bat within your line of sight so is this something when the when the weapon is locked on do you have to be in the line of sight of that weapon right when it's fired so can you break that um also if you do get hit can you break that line of sight so you can take you don't take the 30 extra damage you stop your weapon so i do think that they're like as as these trailers sort of show what the ability can do, I think there is things that they don't show that you can counter with these abilities, which does not make him ultimately OP. Um, so, I mean, they want to hype up a legend. They want to really get everybody excited to play him, and which they've done. I think he's going to be a really fun legend to play. Uh, I just, and I do think that he's going to break a me the meta a little bit just because how he can counter very various different legends uh i just don't think that he's he's op um i think he can come in pretty balanced the higher skilled players like any other legend are going to be able to play him off the bat really well um some of the mid-tier or lower tier um, skilled players are going to have a struggle with him try and figure out um what those what the kit looks like, how to play the kit, how to play with squad, how you do if you're solo queue, um, things like that. So very, very interesting to see what happens. Let me know what you all think in the comments down below. As always, fam, if you did appreciate the content, hit that like, hit that follow, that subscribe. I appreciate you all. Let me know if you're going to be running ballistic in season 17 and what you're most excited about. I look forward to seeing you all out there.